Thanks for tuning back in to Middleton Motorsports. This is Mike. We're going to be selling the track racks modular roof rack with pack racks for the four door. First time I needed a cue card for an item. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna do a install on this track rack system because we had saw other videos and we didn't feel like they were quite as detailed as we'd like them to be. So we're gonna go through, there's a lot of parts, but I think we can make this as simplified as possible. A lot of hardware, but we're trying to make it as simple as possible for you. All right, so we got the tools laid out here that we're going to need. Uh, the only complaint I have so far is that they use standard tools, which I mean, a lot of people, all, a lot of Ford mechanics only have metrics. They've been metric since the '80s. So if you don't have a 7 16 wrench, um, you can always use an 11 millimeter with this kit because it calls for a 7 16 But um, other than that, ready to start rolling here. So we already removed the roof racks, that's the next step. Um, obviously most of you guys don't want to do that already, so we're not going to show that. But we've got to start mounting these brackets, uh, which go under the roof right here. So first thing I do is put the foam on this so it doesn't damage the paint. So long skinny foam here. So we found it's going to work the best if you put the foam so it just wraps around this edge here. So we're just going to put it like right over the end here. It just wraps around there. So with this right here, this protects the paint the best from what we, the test fitting that we did. So if you install it right there, you should be good to go. All right, so we gotta start by removing these three factory bolts. They do have paint on them, so make sure you get the socket all the way on. Next, we're gonna wipe this off. Right, we're gonna make sure the surface is nice and clean. Make sure there's no debris that's gonna be stuck in between this rail. Then we're gonna place three washers. Quarter inch washers that are supplied. Then these rails, D is for driver's side, and then there's a P for the passenger side. Go ahead. And Set this down. The wider end is at the back. All right, gently just put it up here. And start threading these bolts. And then I'm going to put these in by hand. And uh, I've always made sure to tighten these by hand so you don't over tighten them. Um, you can also see where we had the foam place. It's like perfectly right on the edge of the body here. We hope you're enjoying this video. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and the notification button. All right, we're on to the next step now. Got the roof back on. Next part is mounting these front mounting brackets to one of these braces here. And that will go on uh, 
these uh, front cross members here. So first step is take quarter inch by half bolt and a quarter inch washer, slide it through the bracket like this, and then put the flat side towards the bracket. All right, I do not think this is gonna work. These are overlapping here. We're gonna have to cut one of these so that they can line up. I don't know if these are the right brackets or they're just mismanufactured, but this will not slide into this rail the way it is. So I'm gonna have to modify this somehow. All right, this will work much better now. You should be able to slide these into the rails. All right, now that we got this trimmed up, it should slide in there easily. Make sure you have the arrows on these brackets pointing to the outside of the vehicle. So we'll slide this in. There you go, arrow out. We already got this one on here, arrow out. Next step is to attach these cross members with these rails. First, we gotta Loctite these bolts that are gonna secure the rails to the cross members. I just lay them all out like this, just get them all done. Yeah, they uh, provided Loctite in the kit, so you don't need to have any. So we're gonna attach the first bar to this cross member. So with this angled up, you want these on this way. This is gonna be, the windshield of the truck is gonna be right here, so these need to be able to mount on the accessory point. Start these by hand. Go to the other side, two more bolts. And part of the step before putting it on the vehicle is they want to attach a middle one and a rear one also, so it has a little more rigidity and then we can line up the front brackets. Now we're going to hand tighten these bolts. Uh, I'm just going to use a drill just to slightly put them in uh, with the 5 30 seconds uh, Allen socket. All right, now we gotta take out the accessory covers and the brackets. Next step is we gotta take this roof rack and we gotta pre-fit it and center it. But you will need some help. Uh, like I need some help. Anybody? Oh, oh that, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> So now we gotta measure the gap. Last watch. <laughs> that almost made the bloopers. <laughs> One and seven eighths on both sides. I'm gonna hand tighten these here. We got these brackets tightened up now. 
everything's centered. We're gonna take this off and then we're gonna assemble the whole rack. So we ran into one more issue here. These brackets, after we centered them, we took it off to go uh, just fully tighten these and they're still loose. So these bolts we found out were actually bottoming out. So you can see the bolts were bottoming out in this rail so they wouldn't fully tighten and that's why the brackets were still loose. So we went ahead and found some thicker washers instead of these ones. So they might be just slightly thicker enough to make it tighten all the way down. Just to recap so far, these T-slot nuts, we had to shave one on each bracket down for the front mount because uh, they were hitting each other and you wouldn't be able to tighten it properly. And then after we did that, we went to mount it on the vehicle and the bolts were too long and they were bottoming them out in the rails. So we had to end up uh, using a thicker washer so that it wouldn't bottom out and actually tighten properly. Next step is the wind deflector. We first started by test fitting the hardware and making sure it actually tightened on the rail. It does bottom out, but it does tighten enough where it's not loose. So we took it back off, now we gotta put the seal on it. So this foam part, we wanna make sure that goes towards the body. So we're gonna start on here corner, push it on, and I'll just press fit all the way around. Just make sure you get it fully seated. So we got the weather stripping on there. We just start about halfway between these two points here and it ends up about the same on the other side then. So now we disconnected it on this side, and then we got to, so we're going to slide it in. Two very boring minutes later. These are pretty much worthless. We're just going to go ahead and start installing the rest of these beams on here, and then we're going to put it on the car and line it, tighten everything down. All right, now we gotta put some more Loctite on these bolts, some washers, and we're gonna tighten all these bars. We got the roof rack all assembled, all the bars are in there. Next thing we gotta do is put these pads in these inner and outer brackets that support it at the rear. So these kind of like fold into place. These kind of fold into place like this. So we'll start by peeling the backing off. Kind of line it up at the edge here, and I'm just going to push it down into the corner. Yeah. And then the bigger ones. All right, so that's installed. So we'll just continue the process on the rest of them. All right, this is, this is probably the funnest part right now. Got one started. But you gotta get these nuts. I'm just using the factory ones and uh, getting them started on here before I tighten them up. But uh, these uh, are really hard to get in here. Just got the front mounting points tightened up. I gotta say at this point, uh, so far with all the stuff we've had to do, it's definitely out of zero to 12 beers, I would say you need 12 beers for this job. But uh, other than that, I mean, if you have the patience, you should be able to get this done. It's just not the easiest to install. But uh, let's get on to the next step. It doesn't help that this thing is two inch lift and 37 inch tires too, so good thing I got this ladder here. <laughs> But uh, we're gonna go ahead and tighten this uh, front plate here, wind deflector. Yeah, just make sure the seal is contacting the 
body line here. You can see it's just, you want it sealed so you don't get a wind noise or anything. The next part is actually mounting uh, the rear part of the roof rack. Double arrows face the rear and those are the far most back brackets. The single arrow ones are the front brackets and they face towards the front of the vehicle. So we're gonna show you how to install these. So we need a one inch bolt, black oxide washer, and a locking nut. So we're gonna slide it through the outer part, outer bracket here, through the rack, and then line it up on the inner one. Hold that tight, and then you should be able to start the nut on the other side. Then we gotta do this with the rest of the remaining brackets. And then we'll get on to the next step. So I'm gonna tighten up uh, here. I'm just holding the inside nut with a wrench here. Done. <laughs> Next up is the pack racks. Two of these brackets per side. Uh, these get mounted with the stainless hardware on the bottom and then the black oxide at the top. So the one thing we'd uh, say is with this vehicle being all blacked out, the owner would have liked all black hardware, so I'll end up switching that out later. But for now, we're just gonna finish installing it. Take two of these. Rest them at the bottom here and then they line up with those two slots at the top. through, nut goes on the back side. Put the bolt through and then we put the nut on the back side. Now we just tighten everything up and move on to the next side. All right, next is installing these mounting plates. Four screws should line up. Now we'll repeat the exact same process on the other side. All right, well, if you made it this far on the video, hopefully you enjoyed your 12 beers and you're sitting back enjoying looking at this thing. It is definitely the best looking roof rack, but uh, it definitely was the most challenging install we've done on any roof rack so far. But um, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and uh, please uh, hit that uh, notification button for any future videos. One thing I want to add is those slotted bolts that we had to uh, cut earlier to fit the front mounting brackets and the bolts bottoming out so it wouldn't fully tighten. They actually supplied these carriage bolts in the package which uh, there was nothing in the instructions about it. We did message them, they didn't get back to us in time so we just ended up modifying it and it works the way it is but uh, the instructions don't say it but make sure you use the carriage bolts and then it'll tighten right up, no problem.